Welcome boys and girls. It's math time again with your favorite teacher, Mrs. Okba Oluwa. You all are welcome. Today we shall be learning a new topic, still a missing numbers and sentences, but our focus will be on multiplication. Our focus will be on missing numbers and multiplication sentences can you see this girl she's kind of flashcard showing you multiplication and then on her right hand she has what the multiplication sign so what is multiplication when you're multiplying it is it simply means a repeated addition of a certain number a repeated addition of a certain number three times two equals six and that means that you're counting three in two places. So you're adding up three in two places. So you are what you are repeatedly adding what three. It can be in groups of two, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, like that, like that. Thus, in the multiplication sentence, two numbers are multiplied to get a larger number. Two numbers are multiplied to get a larger number. So if I want to get the factor six if i want to get the product of six rather six what are the two possible numbers that i can multiply okay let's say three times two which is going to give me six or two times three which is going to give me what six or one times six which is going to give me six or six multiplied by one which is going to give me what six i want you to note that two numbers will be multiplied together to get a larger number Nonetheless, if one of the numbers is missing, one of the two numbers is missing, but the second is known, to determine the unknown number, you will use the division operation to find the missing number. That is, if you don't know your multiplication table by heart. So you have to use the, the, other, the, the other formula that you can use is your what? By what? By dividing. Now let's look at this. We have 3 multiplied by box equals 12. Box multiplied by 2 equals 16. So your unknown number can be at the front or at the back. 3 times box, your unknown number is at the back. Box times 2 equals 16 is what is in the front. Here are rules to follow when solving problems. Do not forget that. Rules are just they are necessary for you to what to solve problems are right in mathematics. So number one, you have to master your multiplication tables very well. Ensure you know it, know it by heart. Then divide the larger number by the number present. If you don't know your multiplication table, another formula that you can use is what you divide the answer, the larger number by the number what's present. That is when you're solving missing numbers and multiplication sentence and then c always fixing the answer to check if the sentence is correct you always check out your words your solutions let's see some examples all right so we have three multiplied by box equals 15 what is box three multiplied by box equals 15 what is box two numbers were multiplied together to get 15 and the two numbers one is known the other is unknown. One of the numbers is one of the numbers box is unknown, but the second is three. How then do you get your unknown number? If you know your multiplication table by heart, you know that three multiplied by so 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 is going to give me fifteen. But then, if you don't know, not to worry, you have another means. What then do you do? You divide the larger number by the second number three. And what is your larger number? Your larger number is always the answer outside after your equal to sign, so, and which is 15, to determine the box. Thus, 15 divided by 3 equals what? Equals 5. So I want to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I'm going to divide this in group of what? In groups of 3. 1. 2, 3, 4, and then 5. 
so i'm correct with this 15 divided by 3 i have what 5 then your box is 5 now you have to go if you go by the rule the third rule says what you fix in the answer to check if your what if your solution is correct 3 multiplied by box now you know your box yeah, that your box is what 5 so 3 multiplied by 5 equals what 15 and that means that your statement or your solution is correct another example box times 4 equals 16 mind you the unknown number can be at the front or at the back here is at the front so we don't know what was multiplied with 4 that gives what 16 find the box so how do you know the actual number just like the way we did the other one if you don't know your multiplication table very well you don't know what was multiplied with 4 then you have to what you have to divide that's the other option for you you divide your larger number by the number present your larger number is 16 divided by what 4 so let's count out 16 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 sorry 14 15 sorry 16 so i'm going to count in fours i have one i have two i have three and the last one i have was four so 16 divided by four is equal to what four then your box is four you have to check you have to put in your answer to be double sure you what you actually have the right answer so box times four now you you know that your box is what your new number is now four so four times four equals what 16 and that is how to get it so this statement is what is correct also now here comes your classwork i'm sure that you've gained a lot you've now learned how to what how to find missing numbers in multiplication sentences then you have to do this you have to complete this this um for i mean the questions box times 5 equals 25 4 times box equals 36 box times 12 equals 24 and 3 times box equals 27 3 times box equals 27 you can either use your multiplication table um that you've known before 5 I mean, if you know your table five, you'll be able to get that. If you don't know, then you use your words, your division words method. All right, guys. Until next time. Goodbye, children.